Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, it's my level 41 rogue. He is specting to Bard. This is a modest game of Black Garden. I'll be doing some healing, and uh, we will be talking about a theme, and that theme will kind of show itself as the footage continues. To start things off, though, let me just say thanks to everybody for understanding about my cancellation of last week's episode. I don't know if you even saw the message that I put up. I put up a message on the YouTube channel. Uh, I did the feed uh, the uh, feedback. The uh, I did the uh, announcement in my feed, and uh, just basically said, "Hey guys, I'm canceling all video production this week because I want to spend time with my family." Some of you will know my family was away for a couple of weeks. And uh, I really just didn't want to make videos about video games. I wanted to hang out with my awesome kid and my wife. And so that's what I did. I basically didn't do any videos last week at all for any of my channels, for either of my channels. I don't want to make it sound like I have a bunch. But uh, I had a great time with them, and I'm so happy that I made that decision. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate that you guys understand that uh, this is a hobby, and family comes first, and uh, that is uh, the gospel, according to me. So... We will kind of get into the theme of the episode here as we uh, as we look at what's going on. What you'll notice here is there's a totally empty battlefield right now. We could easily move up, right? We could move up into a better position that would quicken the pace of this game. Because this is a small game, five people. Uh, we might get a sixth person later on, I can't remember for sure. Uh, but in the end, this is a small game, so why not move up? You know, we're all alive, all of us being the Defiance, and they are respawning. Let's let's move up. I mean, that's situational awareness, and, and awareness is the theme that I want to focus on for this episode, but not necessarily just the situational awareness that I was just talking about. I want to focus on team awareness. Focus on the fact that you need to be aware of your teammates, who they are, what they are, and how they can help you. So you're going to see me take a needless death here, but uh, but while I am uh, dying a shameful death, uh, let me just expand on my theme here. So I am playing a support role. I'm playing a bard. And what you should know about bard, even if you've never watched one of my videos before, is that bards heal through doing damage. And that healing is a uh, radiating heal. It radiates from the uh, damage point, and it radiates in some cases from the bard himself. So what does that mean? That means that if you're in a small match, five people, and one of those people is a healer, and you know that that healing is a radiating type heal, then you need to stick close to that person. Now, maybe you don't know how a bard works, and that's a whole different kind of obstacle that we have to tackle, but assuming that players in the 40s bracket playing PvP understand how a bard works, uh, you need to understand that you need to take advantage of that. I can't do damage and heal you if there's nobody nearby to damage. You know, you notice I kind of try to stick near the fan carrier and I do try to rotate to whoever's close by. I try to do damage, I try to pull out whatever skills I can, including my, uh, my motif that allows me to radiate a light heal over time, and uh, that is only going to get me so far. You know, I cannot continuously keep someone alive who doesn't want to come out with me. And I certainly can't force enemies to come back and uh, stay in a convenient position while I heal you. So if you don't notice that you have, uh, if you notice that you don't have a traditional healer and you see that support flag there on someone's name, well, that means that you might have to do a little bit of strategery. You might have to move in a strategic manner. You can see that these people who are holding the fang in this uh, round, especially this guy, uh, Dio Raleigh, he is pretty much just hanging out behind the tree. Uh, he's not effectively trying to better his position, and he's just standing there until he dies. Uh, if he would come out from behind that tree, I could potentially heal him a little bit. He doesn't have to expose himself fully, he just needs to come near my range so that I can actually do some effective healing for him. Uh, but he's not really trying to do that. Now, perhaps these guys are just looking at this and saying, well, this is well in hand and I have no reason to worry. For instance, right there, I was just healing, you know, a few seconds ago. I was just 
healing a person who was very close to me, but my heal was not radiating out to touch the fan carrier. That was a case where that fan carrier could have literally taken two steps to their right, and they would have been getting sweet, sweet healing music. The other thing that's really annoying is that the same damn guys keep picking up the fang. And, uh, you know, here, this guy runs out for whatever reason to, to try and get a heal, uh, try and get a kill, uh, which allows me to heal him a little bit, uh, but he doesn't push the, the position forward any further. Uh, I'm trying to position myself here, hopefully getting into uh, such a position that I can uh, hand out a little bit of healing. But again, we lose the fang carrier. I try my best to grab the fang right there so that I can run it out uh, into the center, but it just ain't happening. So, you know, to recap, because this really isn't going to go on a whole lot longer, as you can clearly see, uh, make sure that you're aware of the teammates that you have around you. For instance, we have a couple of tanks. That lets me know that those guys are going to be good to absorb quite a lot of damage. You know, one of those guys who keeps grabbing the fang is a tank, and if he were playing a slightly more aggressive style and actually coming out into the center where we could not only score a lot more points, thus finishing this match a lot faster, but if he could also actually try to stay in my vicinity, we could really, really do a great job. Uh, and we could really have probably ended this two minutes ago. Uh, I do grab the fang here and I pull it out, uh, just trying to kind of start things moving outward and forward. Uh, I do kind of get caught out a little bit doesn't seem like my guys are being quite aggressive enough. You see this guy here, uh, again, Dio Raleigh, he's just following me around like a puppy, uh, waiting for me to die so that he can pick up the fang. He could probably be more effective by actually trying to kill someone, uh, but instead he's following me around uh, like my baby brother and uh, just wanting to uh, ride my coattails. But there you have it, a nice and simple, quick match. Uh, again, the, uh, the takeaway from this match, especially for the guy <laughs> who was just hanging on to the fang the whole time, uh, is uh, know your team, know the people that are around you, and use them to your advantage. I'm not saying that you should uh, have this team awareness for my benefit. I'm saying you should have this team awareness for your own benefit. It gets you through games faster, it gets things moving, and it just generally makes everybody a little bit happier. So when you see that support flag flying on someone's name, know that you do need to be near them or near their target in order to receive the sweet, sweet healing. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Bit of a weird short episode here, but this is the footage I could get this week, and it's what we got. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Do look in the future for more Warfronts. They will continue to come each and every Monday. I always make empty promises about wanting to get more diverse content here on Tales of Talara, and it never happens, so allow me to make another one of those promises. I do have it in me, or at least an idea in my head, uh, to make a couple of videos more geared towards new players, and uh, maybe I can get that done in the next few weeks. But again, I will probably disappoint you by never doing it, so look forward to that bitter disappointment. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. Starting to get a little bit of a cold or something here, so I don't know what shape my voice will be in next week, but you can come and endure it with me. All right, until next time, take it easy.